Hello everyone! I am Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice R13! Lucky number 13! In the last video, we... what did we do? I really feel like we didn't do a whole hell of a lot. Oh yeah, we fought the monkeys and got the mortal blade? Okay, that was actually a decent amount of progress. Only thing I kind of remembered was us dicking around at the very end there trying to uh, do something that we can't do yet. But, one thing we can do is go to the gun fort through the sunken valley. That is where we get our shinobi prosthetic tool that will let us send big baby man uh, to wherever he needs to go. Apparently you don't actually have to do that. Um, you just get some different dialogue if you do his quest is what I've seen to understand. So, yeah. We're going to do the gun fort. Um, this is probably the easiest area available to us right now. I mean, easy with uh, quotes around it because there is a pretty difficult mini boss uh, around here. Um, okay, don't, don't, don't do that. Whatever you're doing, stop. There's a fairly difficult little miniature boss who's actually uh, quite familiar in the sense that we fought him two videos ago. We fought a harder version of them two, two videos ago, and since this is the easier version, of course that means we're gonna die more to them. Uh, sir? That seems a little excessive. Now, I don't exactly know where this thing we're looking for is. I just saw that it said it's in, uh, in and around this area. <gasps> you know what? Okay, it wouldn't let us, uh, it would not let us mind control you for some reason. Ooh, we got the, got the very good, I, I hate this man. I hate this enemy. He's always shooting me with this stupid gun. You're a piece of garbage, okay? Don't stop. And he's just, he's just gonna kick me? You're telling me you can you can roll around. With your big fat ass is able to roll around like that? I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I think you're a big lying cheater pants who should not be able to roll around like that. I thought there was someone you could talk to around here. Ah, oh, there you are. I saw you. What's done, you know? Also, my headphones are still absolutely fucked, so the audio keeps cutting out for me every time I move my head a freaking millimeter, and it keeps throwing me off. Okay, so let's uh go for it, dude. Oh, there are many, many angry boys. Many, many angry men. More than twelve, I would say. Bam! Snake as Shirafuji. She is a slightly easier version of the one we just fought. I fought this boss so many times that I, apparently I've just got like the muscle memory down. I'm also losing frames, just throwing me off a little bit. One thing that sucks about her is that, like, her stupid. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Her stupid ranged attack, like, it destroys your posture, but it doesn't affect hers. That's her, probably her most dangerous attack. 
because it does so much damage. A little embarrassing, a little embarrassing. Let's just chill since she's got all our deflection back in. Posh. We're slowly working our bit down. I've got no audio and it's like, what's up? It's just one ear goes out, which I think is even more jarring than if it were to be both of my audio channels removed. See, this is why she's hard. Oh, okay, I cannot believe we did not get hit there. Okay. Hey. I promise you she's actually difficult. I've just, I've fought her so much that, uh, I think the muscle memory is just ingrained in there and is never going away. Now, what do I do here? I don't, I don't rightly remember what direction we go. Do we jump up here? Because you also, you can just run past her, I believe. Honestly, most things in this game you can just run past. You don't have to fight many of the mini bosses. Just, just eat it. Just eat it, dude. Oh god! Running, running, running! Heal up! Heal up! Heal up! The gun fort. It's quite strong. Oh my god. They're, they're, sh they're shooting their guns at me. All my audio is gone. Okay. We're in a bad spot. Please give me left ear audio back. We're just going to run past everyone. No one can stop us if they can't hit us. Ah, I don't know who you are, but don't ever make that noise again. Next level strats. Rest, 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 rest. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, shit. Run, run, run. Oh, no. This is, this is bad. Okay, we just have to never get hit. How hard could it be? Just don't get hit, forehead. It's real easy. Oh, I think we got him. Whoo! That was, uh, it was a little, little monka s there when we ran into the mini boss with no healing items, but we made it work. Ah, there's our fan. Divine Abduction, though an eight-handed fan, through an eight-handed fan. One is fine, but twice and you'll never return. If abducted, you'll head to Mount Congo. Okay. Now we will go back and fight all these guys that we ran past, but we took a bit too much damage from the uh, gun barrage and fighting snake eyes. But I did not feel comfortable fighting all those guys without any heals. Let's enhance our physical attributes. The sunken, the sunken fort, the gun fort of Sunken Valley is commanded by the snake eyes, an elite force of women able to pierce distant targets with mighty flint cannons and phenomenal vision. Well, they're all dead now. I think there's only two of those guys. Or two of those women. There may be a third, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, uh, join me. Uh, defeat my enemies. Unfortunately, even though they're on your side, 
their attacks still do friendly fire damage. So maybe saving him was not the best decision. Why do you have so much HP? Uh, can I please get up? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Get in there, dude. Okay, he's dead. He has ceased to be alive. Now, what does that old lady do? I don't know why I just always mash the button and get punished. I guess because I'm so used to most enemies dying in like three or four hits. That, uh, I'm just like, if I just keep hitting you, you'll die. But they do not die. We've got much yellow gunpowder. Now, what's the difference in yellow gunpowder and regular butt gunpowder and black gunpowder? Hell if I know, dude. I don't even know what yellow gunpowder means. <laughs> yellow gunpowder means. Like, see, I guess I'm get, I get used to those guys, that it's like, they're gonna hit you! Oh, wait, they're already dead, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what your attack is. Because I just, uh, whack ya, and smack ya, and stab ya, and grab ya. I'm trying to think, is there anything, like, important around these ways? So that just makes you feel aware of you. It doesn't actually, like, blow up or do damage or anything. There's someone, there's someone mad at me. Oh, you bitch. You absolute piece of trash. I will, we should probably use our Ichimanji, like, once in the game, when I think about it. We could get the Ichimanji double. With our skill points. I just, I don't know, it's considered to be, like, the best combat art. I just don't use it very I always forget to use it. It's not bad. It's like the only combat art that I don't think is complete garbage. Like it and I think Mortal Draw are okay, but I still I just don't ever remember to use them. Let's see, that gives us extra spirit emblems. That gives us Vault Over Mid-Air Combat Arts. Don't really think that's too super useful for us. There are some. Oh, we definitely want extra healing. Hell yeah. yeah, Emma's medicine. Yeah, boy. Do we have so many spirit emblems? Granted, I did buy like 200 in the beginning of the game just because I wanted to not lose all my money fighting the uh, Gyobu. Granted, we, we won on the first try, so it didn't really matter, but. Even though we just have to pull out every uh, cheesy trick in the book to make it happen. From stealth kills, to spamming shurikens, to enlisting the aid of NPCs. That fight had it all. I don't really feel good about this bridge. I don't actually remember if it falls apart, but you got to be a little scared that it's going to. Okay! Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a mean snake! There's a, there's a mean snake, and we have died. Okay, we have not died. Okay. Don't, don't tase me, bro. Something's hitting me. Don't know what's hitting me. I am once again asking you to not hit me. What the? F Get these fishes out of here, dude. Oh, I saw it. I saw the bonfire. I think that's why you couldn't kill the snake back there. It's because that scene has to happen. But that leads... Well, if I'm, how do I get up there? Oh, there we go. That takes us back to... Wait, no, this is a different area. I thought this led to the poison area. Apparently not. Somewhere around here leads to that poison area. 
that we maybe we should go back and explore. I don't know. There's, there's so many options available to us right now. I wonder if we can go kill the snake now. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to go pop by and check. Where is that? I don't actually know. Um, it'd be Simpo Temple, right? Sunken Valley Cavern, I believe. Because boy howdy would I love to get my revenge on this stupid snake that won't leave me alone. We can indeed claim our vengeance. Get out of here! Dude, that's a lot of blood. Fresh Serpent Viscera. A persimmon-like heart of a great serpent. The great serpent is considered to be a god of the land. Not anymore. And the heart is believed to be where one spirit resides. While its shape bears similarity to a persimmon, it is in fact... In fact, this is the red viscera of a god. It is safe to assume that eating it would be poisonous to one health, one's health. Okay. Um... You know, I feel like a god might live up to more than two sword stabs, but what do I know? Yo, dude, we're fucking covered. I wonder how long that'll last. Yo, we should never, never rest again. Live a life as the bloodied shinobi. Oh, is this, is this the bridge we were just at? I think it is. Well, what do you know? Dragon's Blood Droplet, a bundled Jizo statue. Or Jizo, I don't know how you would say that word, to be honest. Are we done here? I guess we just leave? Can we jump down into the water? I mean, I guess we can jump down. I'm getting my revenge on these stupid fucking fishies. Oh, it's not a not not fair fight now. You ain't got your serpent buddy to back you up. I don't see any treasure carp anywhere though. Gonna come up here and fight me IRL? No? Gonna lurk between the waves? Well, fine. Be a little baby boy. See if I care. Good thing all our blood stand on despite swimming at Mach 43 through this water. Has it worn off any? Yeah, it's worn off a little bit. Time we're at. We're at only 18 minutes. We'll get to the bonfire down here in this area and then we will um, decide. Well, okay. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. We'll figure out what we want to do after that. There are many items around here that we could uh, pick up. There's also many scary monsters with uh, guns. Who supplied you guys with arms, by the way? Like, where'd you get these guns from? Oh, it's a Nightjar Ninja. What are you doing down here, buddy? Well, you're not really our buddy. I detest you with every fiber of my being. What are you? What are you? Oh, it's another Nightjar Ninja. But he's got fireballs. Or, you know, a fire weapon. I can't close the gap to hit him. 
Okay, we are at like low HP, so he might just. If he hits us once for like super death. Sir! He just, he just kept blocking. He just kept blocking and blocking. There are many, many monkeys over there. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, okay. Oh my god, the game. I forgot the game can't actually handle having this many enemies on screen at once. Okay, uh, be my monkey pal. Be my good time gal. We do get a bit of, bit of life steal. Because it's not like a life steal, but you know, we get a little regeneration off each of these death blows. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, dude. Okay, we gotta we gotta get rid of gun monkey. Gun monkey is very much a problem. I think I made the mistake of like just throwing the same shuriken at the dead body. Okay, we've we've almost won. As long as you don't let that sword dude body us. Oh my god, the game is so freaking frame Why is he invincible? Alright, we have attained the monkey booze. Booze of the monkey. And a bunch of ash. Some scrap iron. Wait, somebody still alive? Potentially, there's still somebody alive, but let's see. Oh, there's a bonfire. There's also a very large monkey over there. Hmm. Do we want to try and fight? Probably the one of the most infamous bosses in Sekiro. Hmm, we only have like ten minutes left. We can give it one shot. We've gotten that already. Yeah, yeah, you want some rice. I ain't got no rice. Okay, you know what? Let's go fight this boss. Um, give it one attempt and one attempt only. I don't know. It's... I wouldn't bet on us beating it on the first try, but I also wouldn't give us too bad Vegas odds on it. So the Guardian Ape is one of the more infamous Sekiro bosses. He was talked about much online when the games came out as being quite difficult because he hits really hard and very unpredictably. The thing is, you gotta realize is that the Guardian Ape is not actually a Sekiro boss fight. He is a rejected boss from Bloodborne and uh, other Souls-like games. So if you treat him like a Dark Souls fight and just take it slow, and work on his HP, you can beat him pretty easily. If you try and fight him straight up, then like, I'm gonna deflect all his hits and be actually good at the game and interface with his mechanics, you will get destroyed, because he does this. You, you, you don't, you can't block that. I mean, you can.
Uh, he also does that. And then he chunks a big ball of shit at us. With a, a fresh a dung pie. Okay, we have no posture. Ooh, he fucking nailed us. I didn't quite go like I wanted. Oh, he grabbed me! No, that's a, that killed me, I think. Wait, no, 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 we, we're alive. And we started off really well, and then we just started throwing. I started thinking too much is the problem. Also, like, I've got no fucking frames. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, he's been stunned. You see, that's a good opportunity to hit him a bunch. Come back here. You can also use the firecrackers. Is another thing. He is scared of firecrackers? I do not remember how- how do I use firecrackers? We're definitely not going to win this. Um, because he has a second phase. Spoilers. I really think my audio constantly cutting out here is actually causing problems. Get in there. Spank his bare butt, balls, and back. So as I kind of accidentally spoiled, uh, he has he has a second face. This is this is all a lie, and we're probably not going to win. You start start spanking him. Start spanking him. So now he's got a sword. Honestly, I think his second phase is a little bit easier. Just because his attacks are more predictable. Okay, you gotta, you gotta run from that. Because he will scream at you. And the wolf is so scared of loud noises that bad things will happen. I was really late on my my parry. Please, sir, break my posture. Or I mean, don't. Whatever. Okay, we're, we're doing decent. Please, hit me. Oh, just keep spamming. Get your posture back. Get in there. What is he doing? He's screaming. I really kind of want to get in there. Wait, is he, is he only scared of the firecrackers in the first phase? I can't remember. That may be only be in the, in the first. Oh shit, that's bad. Oh, if we can get like a good combo going. Come on, hit me, hit me. Not like that, not like that. Don't hit me like that. Oh, bad, 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 bad. We can... <sighs> Shit, do I want a divine grass? That's the question.
okay. Oh, we got him. He's 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 toast. He doesn't know it yet, but he is in fact toasted. Woo! Blood got a, little, got a little pump in there at the end there. I did not think we were going to be able to make it through that, but we were really on for the beginning of that second phase, and then I just like, I don't know, I got I got a little shook because I was performing so well. Like I was, I was able to pretty much block that whole first barrage of attacks and got his deflection really high for his posture. And so I was like, oh shit, dude, I'm doing it. And then I kind of uh, psyched myself out of like, don't fuck it up. But we managed to make it work. I feel a little better about, you know, eating it on Genitro now that we beat Guardian 8 first try, who's definitely, I think he's a legitimately kind of hard fight. I have personally never had too much issue with him, simply because I find treating him like a Dark Souls boss to be the best way to beat him. In that, like, just chip down his HP. He's. You've got a big, massive arena to work with. He leaves himself open. You can get chip attacks in there. Like, uh, I feel like, especially that first phase, the second phase is a bit easier since he has that sword. It's it's just, personally, I find it easier to deflect his sword attacks just because it's like, I know, I know the hitbox. I know when they're coming. The pattern seems more predictable. His first phase is pretty hard, though, if you want to try and do it straight up. Um, is the way I find it. Which is why we did a bit of hit and run tactics there. But yeah, let's enhance our attack power and end the video. They say that an infested body is the mark of an undying, but such a long life would surely be quite lonesome even for an ache. An ache. An ape. Perhaps the echoing roar of the guardian ape was in fact a solicitation of sorts. Our attack power has been enhanced. But yeah. That was, uh, felt pretty good. I think also having that fourth HP upgrade helped a little bit. Because I think that was that one time we were, like, max posture. Like, we would have maybe gotten our posture broken. Um, if we didn't have that little extra bit of posture from the fourth HP upgrade. Which you probably won't always have when you do this fight, depending on when you do it. Because um, you can put this fight off for, like, a long time. There's a lot of other stuff we can do first. But, you know, let's go ahead and go through here and get our item before we end things off. Lotus of the Palace. A white lotus flower found blooming in the depths of the sunken valley where the fountainhead waters pool deeply. The flower's aroma attracts female apes, thus the guardian ape carefully tended to it so as to offer it to his bride. One of the incense ingredients sought by the divine heir for immortal severance. So yeah, we cock-blocked this ape super hard. Both in terms of, you know, stealing his flower and, you know, murdering him. Probably the murdering him was the biggest uh, thing that's going to stop him from getting a wife. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, we're going to end things here, but... I mean, one thing we could do, actually... How do I... How do I reverse dragon out? Do I use this? Dragonrock gone? No? Okay. We just wasted that. Do we still have to talk to Emma to... Wait, did we ever give her the blood sample? No, we did give her the blood sample. I don't know. You're supposed to be able to reverse Dragonrock. I don't know how. I mean, like, it doesn't really matter. Because the Unseen A chance, like, 13% versus 30 is not that big a deal. Plus, I'll just never die. Um, yeah, I think we need to maybe go back and talk to Emma about how to reverse Dragonrock. Just for the sake of, you know doing it for the story I guess but yeah let's go ahead and actually end this video I've been saying I'm gonna do it for five minutes now I'm next she's 87 stay tuned for the next part and bye guys